This arrest makes me worried and, and fearful for everything that's happening here in Vermont and around the country. Enrique Belcasar, who was detained and released last year, is talking about ICE's raid. Early Thursday morning, Immigration and Customs Enforcement and Customs and Border Protection officers went to the Days Inn in Colchester, arresting 14 construction workers on immigration's violations. ICE called it a targeted enforcement action. In a statement, the agency said, under the current administration, all workers encountered during these investigations who are unauthorized to remain in the U.S. are subject to administrative arrest and removal from the country. ICE officials also told NBC5 they focus on criminal prosecution of employers who knowingly hire illegal workers. But legal experts say it may be difficult for employers to figure out who's allowed to work and who's not. Employers do have an obligation to uh, uh, confirm authorized work status of their employees. However, they don't have an illegal obligation to become experts in documentation to prove that. Anti-discrimination laws prevent employers from digging too deep. Advocates say raids like these have become increasingly common, but this one was the largest they've seen around here. That is something that uh, we are very concerned about. ACLU attorney Jay Diaz calls the approach heavy-handed, reckless, and arbitrary. They don't serve the interests of safety um, or, or you know, securing the border, which is what's always claimed. This is about uh, punishing workers, people who are just trying to make ends meet and, and provide for their families. A migrant justice advocate says most of the 14 are being held in a prison in New Hampshire where they're facing deportation. A few of them are still in Vermont to face other legal proceedings. We're going to be digging closely into this and ensuring that people's rights are respected. One of them, Luis Suarez Lopez, was in federal court in Burlington Tuesday. A deportation officer told the court he's been deported three times. A judge ordered him held, agreeing with prosecutors that he's a flight risk. Instead of moving forward as a community and in this state, we're being pushed backwards and back into the shadows. Moving forward, advocates say comprehensive immigration reform is needed for more people to be able to work legally in the country. In Colchester, Abby Isaacs, NBC5 News.